Almost anyone asked to tell the difference between plants and animals would mention that animals can move while plants do not. Even in the restricted sense of locomotion, this is not quite true. Unlike animals, most plants are fixed so they are unable to move from one place to another. But they are still capable of some form of movement. Movement of higher plants are chiefly in the form of bending, twisting or elongation of certain plant parts or organs towards resources. For example, primary root moves downward where it can obtain water and mineral nutrients from deep down while the shoot moves upward to be exposed towards light from sun. There are two types of plant movements, autonomic movements, paratonic movements. Autonomic movements are spontaneous movements due to internal causes. Paratonic movements are induced movements due to external causes. Autonomic movements are of three types. Growth movement, turgor movement, movement of locomotion. Let's discuss these movements one by one. First, growth movements. Growth movements are due to unequal growth on two sides of plant organs like stem, root, tendrils, buds, and so on. Three types of growth movements are epinasty, hyponasty, nutation. Epinasty. Epinasty is shown by leaves and petals, etc. If the upper surface area of the leaf in the bud condition shows more growth as compared to the lower surface area, this leads to the opening of buds. Hyponasty is opposite of epinasty. If development in the lower surface area of the leaf in bud condition is more than that of the upper surface area, then the bud will stay closed. The growing tip of the young stem moves in a zigzag style due to alternate changes in development on opposite sides of the apex. This mode of development is called nutation. Second, turgor movements. Turgor movements are a change in position of a plant part due to change in turgor pressure of various cells. These movements are not permanent. Plants gain its initial state after some period of time. One example of turgor movements is sleep movement. Bean plants and some member of the bean family lower their leaves in the evening and raise them in the morning. These are referred to as sleep movements. These sleeping movements are because of everyday changes in turgor pressure in the pelvinus. Pelvinus is the place of attachment of leaf with the shoot made up of parenchymatous cells. When turgor pressure on the lower side of the pelvinus increases, the leaves rise and end up being horizontal. When turgor pressure reduces on the lower side of the pelvinus, the leaves lower and go to the sleeping position. Another example of turgor movements is rapid movement of leaflets in plant mimosa when touched. Third, movements of locomotion. In this case, plant moves physically from one place to another due to an internal stimuli. Zoospores and gametes of lower plants move from one place to another by means of cilia or flagella. Now let's talk about paratonic movements. The movement of the whole or parts of a plant due to the influence of an external stimulus is paratonic movement. Three types of paratonic movements are tropic movement, tectic movement, gnostic movement. These movements are further classified on the basis of type of stimulus. Watch my next video to learn about paratonic movements. If you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe and share.